Hello, I'm First Alert Meteorologist David Reese on your side with your Sunday evening forecast for WRBL.com. We have been tracking quite a bit of severe thunderstorm activity all across the southeast here on this Sunday afternoon. And heck, even about 12 hours ago, early this morning between 2 to 4 a.m. when we actually did have an EF1 tornado roll through northern Troop County just to the west of LaGrange there. Fortunately, there hasn't been a whole lot of rotation within any of these showers and thunderstorms, which right now the heaviest activity is right there along the Florida-Alabama border trying to get down into the Interstate 10 corridor there. So there's a lot of rough weather going on down there. Here locally, though, not a whole lot going on as of 7.30. Sunday evening, a dying thunderstorm here or there in Bullock County and also one in northern Marion County. But other than that, we're going to watch some of these showers and thunderstorms ongoing here in central Mississippi as those continue to lift off to the northeast. So eh, we'll just watch them very carefully here as we go into the overnight hours, not expecting anything super severe. Look at the satellite picture, though over the past couple of hours. Now as I make this completely visible, make this black and white, now notice what happens yeah as we go through slowly here notice early this morning good to go and then those showers started erupting and then notice what's happening here yeah as we start to see that daylight come to an end notice some of these very tall cloud tops here you start seeing them there right along montgomery over towards union springs and also down here in dothan in fact if i do this notice here it's creating a little bit of shadow those are what we call overshooting cloud tops and what they mean are strong storms and that's exactly what we've been experiencing here across most of alabama at least the southern half of alabama this afternoon and that will likely continue here over the next couple of hours but then we kind of repeat the whole process again for your monday afternoon notice most of the activity might very well remain across arkansas but as we head into your tuesday Shower and thunderstorm activity, not nearly as numerous. So we'll go isolated showers and thunderstorms for your Tuesday afternoon. But as we head into Wednesday, a cold front is actually trying to work its way across the southeast, thanks in part to an upper-level low-pressure system rolling on through. As a result, we'll ramp up those rain chances for Wednesday, but then we'll start to ease back on them again for Thursday. Then we'll go for a chance of showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Friday, next Saturday, and Sunday. But for your Monday, we're looking at highs near 91 with more scattered showers and thunderstorms.